just kidding. It fell early today. <laughs> Shalom, everyone. Welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry or ministries international videos. I'm Kenithia J or Kenithia Johnson. In this particular video, we're going to talk about some of the country names and stuff we've been hearing or that you guys have been seeing me here. <laughs> some of y'all be putting this word out before I could. No, but the only clarity I have is for London is and Scotland. Those two are intertwined due to a history of theft. So some kind of judgment is coming through restitution now. And so what I saw was that even though you do something and get away with it for a short period of time, somebody has to answer for it later down the line. And so that's why God is always on us for one person to do good because one bad apple spoils it for the rest. It's kind of like... um a little bit of my situation it's like people put them self their family what God had really blessed them with on the line for something that he said could happen at the end of the day so you got to be very careful not to steal it come in copycats that's stealing be yourself you don't have to act like your daughter. You don't have to act like this church person you know. You don't have to act like this prophet or, or this person. Be yourself. God gave you your own body, your own mind, your own body parts to be on one accord for a reason. So you have a specific character that needs to come out that's in God. Not you copying people trying to act like somebody else. Okay. It was something else. Don't try to control other people's spirits. Stop trying to control other people's spirits. Okay, so I had a recent attack to where this prophetess or denounced spiritual parent went through and controlled the spirit of my doctor. And so my prescription ended up getting cut off. Don't control other people's spirit. It's been plenty of other times where blessings was finna come, but because this pastor or this person didn't want it to happen, they got in the way and they, and they either stopped it themselves or controlled the other person's spirit for something not to happen. And so Jesus said unto him, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. And with all thy soul and with all that and with all thy mind. How can someone do that if you over here trying to control them? Don't control when I wake up and go to sleep. That's God. Stop trying to control other people's spirits. That's what the Lord is saying. What you do, it looks like it's small to you, but it's hell of aggravating to somebody else. And so that makes us or that person not want you around as a spiritual leader. And God doesn't force anybody to accept or take anything. There's always somebody to fit that person's character or spirit. Ah, that's good. That's good. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. And so God is just saying, stop controlling other people's, it's your flesh at the end of the day. It's flesh, it's sin. And then you go to God like you didn't do nothing, like he's stupid. It's stealing. You're stealing someone's freedom of will in that moment to say yes or no as they please. That's another form of theft. Okay, controlling other people's spirits. So you could receive something instead of them or you could stop them from receiving someone or something. Don't control other people's spirits. Whoever has no rule over his own spirit is like a clay. I'm sorry. It's like a city broken down without walls. Proverbs 25 28 
Whoever has no rule over his own spirit is like a city broken down without walls. Don't try to control nobody else's spirit. Don't tell, don't like, don't enter people spiritually and force them to do stuff. Don't control other people's spirit. Um, I did see that judgment. Judgment is God is exposing all evil and judgment is coming down now. Like it's just happening. It's like everybody just reaping what they sowing. And he he keeps saying, stop. Some of y'all don't care. Like, you just keep getting worse. It's like God will put his foot down higher, and you'll come up higher to fight God. And you look stupid because God keeps saying, I'm attached to this person. That's me that you're fighting. So it's like, you look like a Haman. Haman was always set up to hang on his own gallows. And the worser he got the harsher he made the punishment for himself, not knowing it was for himself. Don't be the thief. The thief has to return what was stolen. Whether you did it a hundred or thousands of years or you did it now, judgment has come.